Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode! What on earth is going on? I was not looking at the screen, I was looking at my recording software. What? Why? <laughs> Why? Did I just get attacked by a bunch of vexes? Oh! Oh, that guy. How have I never noticed him before? Has he been there the whole time? I feel like he hasn't been there the whole time. All right, welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 10. This episode is going to be incredibly fun. I'm really excited to get started on my own projects, but I have to start off by just saying these are amazing. These are so incredible. These are so incredible. These are so cool. And it's made me think I definitely want to add a lot more. Go away. <laughs> Stay away from me. I'm leaving. Oh my goodness. What? What is happening? My Elytra's just broken. I can hear an Enderman who's very angry. This is just dreadful. What I was going to say is that I'm going to add a little bit more variation to light up my trees. I'm going to do it at some point, but first, we must discuss the Great Pig Incident of 2024. And I'm going to go frame by frame here, okay? I've got the footage up in my editing software. Look at this. All right. My bow is pulled back. I am ready to shoot the target to open up my piston door. I release the bow pretty much on the bullseye of the target. The pig is miles away, absolutely miles away. And then the arrow is released as I'm looking at the target, but then a few frames later, I start to turn around and the pig just dies. I don't understand how this is my fault. I refuse to be sent to Skyblock because of this. So as you don't know, Doc was sentenced to two weeks of Skyblock living because he killed a pig. I, I don't want to be up there. I, I don't want to be doing this. So I'm going to put together a hasty defense. Gosh, what's all this? I'll come back to it. The snails have moved from big Ron's somewhere. Honestly, if someone's coming back to the Hermitcraft series with this episode, they are going to be completely bamboozled by all the things that I'm saying and doing. To Popo, I have video evidence that I have analyzed frame by frame that proves I am not guilty of ham slaughter. I believe Mojang is responsible and taking them to court would be very expensive, so you probably shouldn't. Signed, Mumbo K Jumbo. I will just plonk this into a chest. What on earth is going on over there? Is this meant to be happening? I feel like this isn't meant to be happening. I know, it's mental, isn't it? Yeah. Damn, my craft server's a weird place. Okay, my defense has been placed. The door is still working well, so hopefully that garners me some points as well. The start of this video has been very chaotic, so I think it's time for a break. How about we take a look at today's sponsor, Oprah GX. Everyone knows I'm a ridiculously good gamer. I mean, watch me absolutely destroy my girlfriend in a 1v1 on Rust. I, I took no mercy. In fact, just check out the ending kill cam I managed to get. Just, uh, yeah, ignore the fact that she wasn't really moving. As a certified gamer, I use a certified gaming browser, Oprah GX. Oprah GX has many gaming centric features. For example, GX Control allows you to monitor and also limit CPU and RAM usage, which allows you to maximize for gaming performance. I think you'd be surprised at how power hungry some browsers can be. My personal favorite part is the customization. Last time I was in my Minecraft era, now I'm in the lo-fi beats to study and relax to era, so I've made the switch. Do you wanna know how committed I am to this switch? I wasn't really feeling the brown of the lo-fi theme, so I switched it out for cozy because I just love that cherry tone. On the topic of tone, listen to all these delicious Oprah GX sounds. Ooh-wee. That, that one was me. The lo-fi music changing as I interact with the browser as well is just... I regret writing Chef's Kiss in my script. I kind of didn't think about how that would feel to do in person. <laughs> it also has an AI chat function, so I asked it who the best Minecraft player ever was. And well... I think the list speaks for itself. All in all, it's a wicked setup that runs quick and looks great. So head over to oprahgx.gg forward slash mumbo jumbo 2. That is oprahgx.gg forward slash mumbo jumbo 2. Get it installed. And thanks again to Oprah GX for sponsoring this video. Now that I've impressed you all with my Modern Warfare 2 trick shots, let's crack on with my brief and impromptu plan to do a little bit of treeage. Kyle gave me some cool tips. My neighbor's building cool trees. I think it's time that we add a little bit more variation and maybe strip out some of the leaves. Potentially add some pickles. Oh my goodness, Scott, are you serious? Are you actually serious? 
I can't work on my base. I've heard on the grapevine that Scar wants to take Big Ron to court. Well, I might have to take Scar to court for being a, a nuisance neighbor. Issue number one is, is that thing shooting his vexes over to me. Issue number two is building really nice trees that make me look bad. So I'm thinning things out a little bit and then I'm going to pinch one of Scar's ideas for the top. He's kind of got fences mixed in with the leaves and I think it looks pretty good. And it does look pretty good. This is the far away distance. It kind of blends in with the dirt, but you can see we've got a lot more height here. That's added like six or seven blocks, but it's done so in a way that doesn't look too clunky. I also think the tree looks a little bit more realistic. I think, I think this is nice. It almost, it kind of matches up with the trees in the background. <laughs> It's just they're massive but far away. Nice one. Okay, I think there's a few trees that would benefit from this treatment. So I'm going to crack on through them. I don't want to shake things up too much because I genuinely am quite happy with the way our forest is looking. But I do think this will make a meaningful difference. I'm also swapping out a lot of the top mangrove leaves for the acacia ones. Or what are these? Azaleas? So that the gradient that I tried my best to install into the trees is just a tiny bit more clear than it was before. Yes, okay. This is starting to work. I've done three of the trees. All of them look better than the rest of the trees. These things are so dense. I made them really dense. Hopefully by airing things out a little bit, I should get a clearer view of some of the builds and things, and that will allow me to vary the height of the trees a bit more without just completely blocking things off. I'm making each of the trees slightly more Christmas tree or like cone shaped, I guess, which means we should get more gaps towards the top. Yeah, the plan is working. I've done about half of the trees. Look at the difference between this side and then this side. This feels so much bushier. It's a really interesting, subtle difference. So like, look here, and then here, here, here. It looks so cool while we're up at the top as well because it really does match in with those trees. It feels like we're in some kind of forest up here. I've got just a couple more trees to go now. Nice one. Okay, forest has received an enormous upgrade that I'm really, really pleased with. Well, it's like an enormous, but also tiny upgrade in that I don't know how much better it looks. But it looks significantly better, but it's hard to put your finger on why it looks better. The only way I can describe it, it's like when you clean your car. And then for the next like few weeks after cleaning your car, you look at your car and you go, Oh, that's not bad, that is it? It's a small difference that's made a big difference. Okay, I think I've talked enough. Let's build some more trees. I'm enjoying all of this tree business, and I think it's about time that we actually start getting some trees added into the town area. I have no idea if this is going to look good. Like, I don't even know about the placement. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just placing blocks, hoping for the best. Toes are crossed, nose hairs are crossed. I think the tree is done. I mean, let's have a look. It's gonna look weird because obviously it's the only tree currently. And... Oh, I'd say it's a, it's a whole lot of trunk, but I was trying to keep it away from the build. Would it look weird if it's actually touching the build? I mean, I know that's gonna make it feel pretty cramped, but... Oh, I actually think that is kind of working. I think that's kind of working. So let's have another tree here, maybe another few trees behind this area and then i guess they would kind of fade out a little bit here but maybe one here maybe one sign in there one in front of the bank and then there'll be trees going all the way up the back of this hill i think that's probably the way we can balance this if we have trees here then this is all buildings and things but then the trees kind of go up like that maybe escalate in size that would be really nice okay okay so the builds are being framed pretty nicely by these ones here i think we need a big one and then a little one sneaking in there. I'm being brave here. I'm just going for it. I'm going super big. We're now over the top of the magic mountain. And I would say it is working. I think this is nice. I definitely think I need to terraform some of the floor here. I need to match up with this area down here. Add some moss, a little bit of mud, a little bit of dripstone, some of these flowers. And I think that platform there is crying out for a little tree. I think if we can get this shape to do this and then that will flow into the builds nicely and then those trees will wrap around the back, oh, we will have ourselves some nicely framed builds. All of the mud and all of the flowers and all of the dripstone is gradually going in. Gem is restocking pickles. Little does she know I might actually buy all of them. I informed her and she was very disappointed. But that aside, all of the terraforming is now done. Our trees are in place. All of the builds are framed nicely. I am super, super happy with how all of this has come together. I can't believe this little side project ended up taking an entire afternoon, but there we go. I would definitely say it has been time well spent. This, this half of the base here, this section, 
is looking really, really finished. We still have lots to do over here, though, and I don't even want to talk about those, so I'm going to ignore that and head over to the shopping district to see what all the fuss is about. There have been a lot of additions made to the front of my shop. Firstly, wow. Okay, I mean, surely it's not, it's, it can't be sold out. There's no way it's sold out. Thank you. So this L, completely unjustified. Unless it's L for learner because I'm always learning, then maybe? Maybe? But I think they were implying something else. I don't have any yellow dye to change it back. This is painful. Anyway, what is this? What's all this? There's TNT. Not a good sign when there's TNT. Oh. No. Gosh, this is too wide for my screen, guys. I have to go into my, my, my field of view settings. <laughs> no stock. Please fix by... What date is that? American dates are stupid. We've got until the 8th of February next year. This is easy. I don't have to stress. And that is the defense that I'll use when I'm in court. Is this also? Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Wow, cub. Wow. After I gave you the permit. Also, somebody's dyed this yellow and I can't read it. I don't want anyone to think that this is a pop-up shop. This is a very permanent shop and it will not be included in the pop-up shop cull. Wow, the game feels super zoomed in now. What has happened? Okay, I think it's about time that I get myself a bartering farm. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do this just yet. I am just going to wing it. Nothing bad has ever happened from purely winging it. Oh, actually, that reminds me because I completely winged the piston door that I built in the previous Hammercraft episode. Do you think that should count as, a, as an invention that I put in the database? I don't know, I'm kind of in two minds about it. Let me know down in the comment section if it belongs in the database in my base. Starting to get a little bit scared of the fact that I'm winging this, given that this is quite expensive. I refuse to believe somebody has sold a million diamonds. <laughs> there's, there's no way, surely. Surely. My ego couldn't take it. I thought I was rich. I've got like eight stacks. Can anyone remember where I left my gold farm? <laughs> Anybody? Anybody have any information on that? Genuinely, I've actually lost it. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, right, it's here. Now, we need piglins, right? Yeah, piglins. So here comes my extremely good plan of action. I am going to build a platform, right? And then I'm gonna hope that a bunch of piglins spawn, but not ghasts, and hopefully not the zombified piglins because I've just killed a bunch of them so they're aggro at me uh, so that I can get a gold helmet. What could go wrong? This thing is a work of art. <laughs> oh, and I've just realized that most of it actually isn't spawnable <laughs> by the piglins. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. But, you know, a decent amount is light level, a level or lower. So, right, let's just fly up here. And I am going to inspect. Inspect down, down there. Okay, we've run into another hurdle. Thank goodness I brought loads of rockets with me. How weird, nothing spawned. Okay, let's try again. Oh gosh, a ghast spawned. Oh no! <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, my bad spawn proofing has actually yielded a piglin. <laughs> my failures have actually contributed to a good situation. I managed to get one! I don't know how! I don't know where this guy spawned! But he has spawned! Oh gosh! Oh gosh! I forgot! Oh gosh! Okay, I have to be extremely careful. Good. Things have gone just ridiculously well here. Look at that! We've got our first dude! Oh, they can barter in boats. I didn't expect this. I mean, in some ways, I already have a bartering farm. I could do this manually. So I just need one more and then I'm in business. A surprisingly large number of piglins are spawning down there. Oh my goodness. One just spawned and then just immediately got in the boat. I don't think I could have gotten more lucky if I tried. This has gone beyond well. Look at this. Two renamed hoggers. What's happened? <laughs> I'm going to choose to ignore whatever noise is happening behind me. And I'm just going to remove these blocks. This is, this is insane. Okay, <laughs> fine, they're still making the noise. I just want one of them to be in a boat and one of them to be in a separate boat. No, gosh, this is treacherous. Oh, this is so treacherous. Please don't die. Don't die. Yes, just stand there. Oh, I'm stuck on the boat now. Oh my goodness. No, stay away from the boat. Just get in this one. No! Oh no! I'm going slightly insane here. They just can't decide what boats to get into. They keep trying to get into the same boat. Yep, 
No, why, why? Yes, 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 I've got them in separate boats. Oh, this has gone fantastically. So I'll drop one of them off over here and one of them off over here as well. Clear up my little platform and then I can finally build my tiny bartering farm. Would this be considered failing successfully? I feel like I failed successfully. Okay, not that successfully. I've run out of rockets and I'm now having to run home. Let's get to work on building this thing. I brought everything except for a crafter. So, plan of action. I left all of these hoppers available for my bartering farm. There's no way we need that many. I want to be able to run the gold farm and also the bartering farm at the same time. So I think I'm going to dedicate the first... I don't even know if I want the first three hoppers for the bartering farm. I almost want it to just be a single hopper's worth of nuggets. Like my gold shop is worth way more than my item frame shop. So I think, yeah, if we just have a single line of golden nuggets being taken, those gold ingots will be outputted into this double chest. In fact, do I even need to do that? I could just use the crafter to spit out the ingots and then they sit there and the piglins pick them up but then it would be maybe nice to have a buffer. Now that I think about it, I'd say it's pretty redundant because I think these piglins will be able to barter faster than the gold can come in. Because again, I'm not really prioritizing bartering. Even though I get loads of good drops from it, I want lots of gold. Except I did just realize all I have to do is unlock these two hoppers here and that will give me three times as many gold ingots running into the system which I think is good. It means I can choose to preference bartering if I want to. So our gold ingots are going to land on this. Each one of our piglins is going to be standing on either side. They'll pick up the gold, do the trade, drop out the items into a hopper, and it will be stored in storage. Now this is where it could all begin to start to go wrong. I mean, to be honest with you, it's been on the precipice of going wrong this entire time. It's remarkable that it hasn't, but there, there are high chances of issues here. I've got to get hoggers up into the hogger's spot. This is not ideal. I can't place a block there. Okay, I've done some jiggling around. I've managed to get it to go. So then I can push. Push him up. Okay, should be in the correct, the correct height vicinity. Now I just need to make sure that he can bridge across. Okay, things are going. Things are happening. I really, this is, this is precarious stuff. Okay, I'm hoping when I break this boat, he should just, just do what I want him to do. <sighs> yeah, uh, that's, oh, you're gonna get in the other boat, aren't you? That's what you're gonna do. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, okay. I, I've cleared out any of the potential pathfinding opportunities. So I'm hoping that when I break this boat, yes. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, yes! Okay, we've got one. But then our other one is making his way up. And break this. Cool. He's in place. Yes, okay. They are both in place and safe. Now we just need the storage for all of the drops. And that should just about cover us. I am never winging something again. That was the worst decision of my entire life. I've never been so stressed. Next time I'm 100% looking up designs and looking up the best way to do things because me just, just fumbling around. <laughs> it is unwise, very unwise. Oh, in case you're wondering why I've got this weird chest set up, it's because occasionally when they drop iron nuggets, you can get like 70 items in one go. So you need to have some way to split up the item stream, I guess. Otherwise my hoppers might get overloaded might start losing items, that would be a shame. But honestly, this is a really small system. It's, it's not too complicated. But what it is, is absolutely perfect for my fairly small needs. Now, just as I was about to test it, I spotted Scar over at my base and I just had to call him out. <laughs> oh no! Right, at least he now understands why. <laughs> I'm flying away, I'm flying away so that hopefully it unaggros the evoker. Oh my God. Yeah, so Scar, can you can you see why I have called you over here, sir? <laughs> can you understand why I have brought you over to my base? Are you okay. having some problems? I, I wanna I wanna I wanna lead with uh your trees look absolutely incredible, buddy. They are ridiculous. They're some of the coolest trees I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm gonna start oh, well, off thank you. with the positive, right? But every <laughs> single time I try to access my storage system over there. I get blasted by Vexes. What has happened? Is this a recent thing? Where's your storage system? Well, it's down here. 
This beauty, look at it, it's, it's incredible. Okay, when you said access, I didn't know you were accessing a chess monster. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, dude, and it's every, back again. <laughs> oh, no. Time, you're gonna have to fight them off on my behalf. I need I need security. I need security. Oh, I need my stuff. I need security. I, oh, I, put, I put everything in your, I put everything in the chest. I don't have anything but to fight It's not all the with. stuff, I need an arrow. I need an arrow, Mumbo, I need an arrow. I don't even have a bow. You got an arrow, shoot, shoot. <laughs> Attack! I'm Attack. trying! This is me! Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's okay, we got it, it's fine! You shot me! <laughs> You're right in my face! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Scott! Did you, see that did you see that flying attack I just did? That was amazing. Well, on me! On me! You're meant to be flying attacking them! I am, look at it, look, another one down. Another they're, one bites they're the still dust. spawning, buddy. They spawn until we leave the area. We now have to fly away. This is what you've done to me. This has been my entire day. <laughs> okay, punch me, get your revenge. Just give me a punch. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Is this, I, 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 where did this come from? Why has this happened? Okay, so back of the train is my villain's car. Mm -hmm. So it's all the hostile mobs. Great. And I'm gonna put the magic hands man with the vexes up in the uh, the tower there. <laughs> right, okay. But you, I haven't quite got to it yet. You know, but, I've been working on it. But you realize, so is, is it? <laughs> Scar, you're not the only person on this server, buddy. Like, as much as I love that idea, I'm sure it will look incredible. You do realize that tower is pointing very much towards my face. I'm going to be an eyeline of that thing the whole time. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, 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 uh, what, okay. Hmm. I have an idea. I actually have an idea, Mumbo. You're going to love this. You're going to love it. I'm prepared. Okay, um... Do you have any of my stuff? I think I've got a lot of stuff. I don't even know whose stuff is what anymore, buddy. We we both, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've no. got an idea. This this is gonna be great. This will save us both. Okay, throw me an arrow. What are you gonna do? It's good. This is good. We're gonna this save not... its life, but also move it at the same time. Buddy, oh, there's somebody in the cart. There's somebody in the cart. <laughs> Come on. Ah! <laughs> Oh gosh, dude. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. This might take a few deaths. Is it okay? I don't know what you're trying to do. Explain, explain. Use your words, Scar. Okay, you'll see, you'll see. Ow. Okay, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm, I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Are you trying to ride the boat with that thing? How do you think yes, that's going to work? Yes, it'll work, it'll work. You'll be so impressed. You'll be so impressed. With no armor, Scar. Scar. <laughs> Scar! <laughs> Here, pick up my stuff and I've got this. Pick up my stuff. I've done this I'm before, it's fine. Dead. Oh shoot, there's a there's a Vex in the boat now. <laughs> Dang it. Gordon Bennett. Okay. Oh, that was all in vain. Oh. <laughs> I got the Vex out. I got the Vex out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but... Yeah, but there's another Vex in there, bud. No! What's happening? Here, distract the vexes. Distract I'm the trying. vexes. If, oh. I get the, if I get in there, if I get in that boat, we've got this. In but the back. My, my stuff is despawning as well. I feel like I need to. Yeah, maybe this isn't going to work as well as I thought. <laughs> no! You know, I had a plan. I had a really good plan. It was a good plan. It was an important plan. Oh, no! Ah! I'm just trying to get the stuff into a chest. That's all I'm trying to do now. It's dead. It's dead. Oh, really? Yeah, so sad. Oh, bud. Oh, that's the worst case scenario. What happened? Scar, what happened? Oh, uh, I was trying to get the Vex out of it and I hit the... <laughs> I was trying to get the, uh, the Vex out and I hit the oh. Magic Hands Man with the sword. Buddy. Oh. But it's actually true, Mom. But you can get in the boat, and as long as you're you're moving, it can't get you. Really? So that's how I got it here in the boat in the first place. That's insane. I rode it like a thousand blocks. Oh, I feel so bad that it died. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh. No, no, no. That no, it's okay. It, I needed to move it anyway. Oh. Uh, I actually moved it. Originally, it was further up the river, and I was working on the trees, and I moved it over here. Oh! <laughs> no, I don't feel so bad anymore! Oh, there's, there's a shovel. There's a shovel. Okay, there's a shovel. Okay. What else can we find? 
There's some arrows. There's some, some arrows, salmon. Some salmon. Good. I'm, I'm glad, glad we're finding the essentials here. <laughs> oh, I think I think Skiz is here. You trying to bang us with something? I, definitely. It's always the way with Skiz. See him. Oh yeah. I see him. <laughs> you there see is. that little head up there? I'm just messing. No, you're not. No, no more. I don't want to come fetch my stuff. Oh, you oh, don't no. want to come fetch your stuff. We've been, yeah, we've been completely fetch. having a rough time here, bud. <laughs> Stop we've been it. having a terrible time thanks to Scar. Oh, I saw that. Oh, yeah, what's, gosh. What are, you, what are you guys into? What are you doing? Well, Scar made my trees look bad, so then we... So then we, we, what? We I didn't make your trees. I like your trees. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I actually... I've spent, I've spent like six hours today redoing parts of my trees because I looked over at yours and I was like, man, they are so good. And I was like Aren't checking they? out... Checking out the fence posts up at the top, and I was like, I think I think that would work for mine. Mambo, I haven't had a chance to tell you to your face, buddy. Oh, love, love the door. Okay, love the door. Yeah, you <laughs> thought I was gonna complain about the pig. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not, dude. I'm I, already at a ten. The... I'm already at a ten, Skiz. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. No, I, I'm serious. Like that, that. I saw the video. That could not. Have, that was an amazing accident. And okay. I think I. I don't know if it was an accident. Oh, don't you stop, hey, Scar! I was. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it up to here with you. I've even put I've put a book over by the door, set explaining my situation and saying that, and like I have analysed it frame by frame, and I did not shoot the pig. And if you want to sue anyone, you're going to have to sue Mojang, and that would be very expensive. Okay, uh, that was my those are my exact words. He's already getting all litigious on it. Listen, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Sir Scar, I I don't know how you feel, but I I, I mean, you know, I talked about it. I think we need to pay this fellow. Yeah, In, I'm feeling it. Yeah, I want to do pork it. chops. No, I mean, doesn't it be crazy? What do you what do you think about just like like four four diamond blocks? That that's fair. Four right? diamond blocks. Four Chip diamond chops. blocks. Oh my that, gosh! Does somebody? I lost my ender chest in all of this. Can somebody pop oh, down I've an ender it, chest? I've got it. Oh, there's I've got one it. right here. I just oh, wonder. Right here. I don't know if I have the money to pay for it. This, oh this, whatever, dude. Have, wait, wait, wait. Things, oh, have, things have just been really tough lately. Is four diamond blocks terrible, or you were saying that's pretty good? Oh no, it's terrible. I think it should be five. All right. <laughs> right, I'll do I'll, I'll do three and you do it. I'll do three you do two. Okay, yeah, let me do two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Scott. Right now, Mumble Mumble's got to be thinking, why did I say ten? Yeah, yeah. I just looked at his shulker box. <laughs> this is this is gonna set I, me back quite a bit. You look at his shulker box. I shouldn't oh, have I think done. Meant, I think the Ender chest. Let me see his shulker. No, no, oh. I, I looked in there. I shouldn't have done. No. I've been thinking. Yeah, he's loaded. Yeah, you are balling out of control. <laughs> Oh my He's goodness! This so is you. Of Ore Mountain. Now, now, lots of things make sense, Scar, because you're over there. You're dying. I'm dying, losing all my stuff and everything like that. And you're like, I'm not that fussed if we pick up the items. Actually, I'm just going to keep <laughs> doing my thing. Watch this. Look, I think I can move this guy in a boat while I'm scrambling to try and pick up my resources because if I lose them, it's actually like a big deal for me. Whereas you, you're just over there being fine. You could buy out the whole bookstore a thousand times I over. Dude, I, I, yeah. well, what happened, Mumba, was I lost an entire shulker box full of tools, fully packed full of the highest in chance yep. on all the tools. I lost it. So I spent about two stacks of diamonds so far in the bookshop trying oh, to get replenished. Did it even make a dent? Did it even make a dent? <laughs> <laughs> Do you even notice it's gone? Scar went through a long stream and then he ends up dying to a phantom. Mm -hmm. Impulse jumps on. He's like, Skiz, I, I think he forgot. He, he left himself on. Let's go find his stuff. So we're able to find all of his possessions like yep. floating on the ground. So we saved him. We put him in a box. We saved nice. him. It was, it was, but maybe four hours later, he did the same thing again and then lost everything. <laughs> <laughs> God. Dude, I think there's a glitch in the update. No, I, I'm you, pretty convinced. Yeah. You, you think there's no a glitch in the that, world. You, you think there's a glitch that turns Minecraft on and logs you in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is the glitch here? Hey, it happened to Greon. I want to be rich enough that I can log in and die as a flex. Like, I'm just going to, yeah. every single time you die now, I'm going to be like, nice flex. Nice, dude. Yeah. Uh, I bet you're not yeah. going to pick up that stuff. Like, do you die hey, I didn't far have any away and then you top. go like, ah. Eh, I don't have to go and get that stuff. I'll just, cares? I'll just get more. Wait, what are we talking of about? Stuff. <laughs> you and Big Ron over there in cahoots taking my diamonds. You got half of my diamonds somewhere. Do I? Think I want to ride the elevator. Okay, okay. Oh, I oh, rode the oh. elevator when I went to sue Ron that day. Okay, that's fun. good. I'm scared of you pressing things. You know, just, I think, does this thing, yeah, it does still work. It's, it does. It's not the I fastest, it. it's not the fastest elevator in the world, but it's rated for high, high kilograms. You know, or Ooh, perhaps. Wait, are you? Well, Pounds. Are you 
Trying to imply something? Tons. <laughs> Tons. You think I'm out, you think I'm sitting at the Look. popo office eating donuts all day? No, what I'm saying is you, you have so many diamond blocks in your inventory that you probably weigh quite a lot. <laughs> did you like how I scammed skiz out of paying more? <laughs> yeah! Oh, did you do that? You did that so <laughs> casually. Now, what is all the clickety clockety sounds in here? Every time I've come in here, I've heard. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I've been, I genuinely, I've been ramshackled. Big Ron's has been has been built out to be something that it's not. What's ramshackled mean? Is that a fancy British word? Honestly, that might be the first time I've said it, so please don't ask me. <laughs> <laughs> All I know you... is it's been. It, this has not been chuffly. This is not a chuffly. This is not a chuffly thing. Oh, what's that one mean? So, for example, I'm chuffed a bit. It's like chuffed is like I'm chuffed. But then if something is chuffly, right? Like your trees. Oh. Chuffly, chuffly trees. Chuffly. They are wow. chuffly trees. Oh. Yeah, it sounds like a fancy chocolate or something. <laughs> Chuffly's chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean your your trees are chuffly. Chocolate is chuffly. What happened down there with the with the Vindicator, the armsy man? Not chuffly. And he was not chuffly. Not guy. chuffly. Okay, no, I got not it. Not chuffly, not now, chuffly. Can we get a quick American accent of pants real quick? <clears throat> okay, I'll prepare myself. <clears throat> yes. Let me just clear my throat. <clears> hmm. <throat> Pants. Well, that was an absolute fever dream, but I'm glad I got to complete some of my word challenge. I was AFK here for a couple of hours while I was getting coffee this morning. Okay. Okay. Oh. Goodness me! Have we filled up? Oh, wow. Okay, we almost filled up the entire thing. Now, how much leather do we have? That is the question. So that is... Oh, this is going incredibly well. Oh, this is going incredibly well already. All right, there's no leather there. Leather here, though. In a few hours, I've got more leather than I got from slaughtering basically every cow in the nearby area of the Hermitcraft server. This is fantastic. My item frame shop is saved! The only thing that I do need to do is gather a whole ton of sticks. At some point when I start work on my industrial district, of course, we'll get ourselves a bamboo farm and then the sticks should be easy, but for now, gotta do it manually. Okay, I have a genuine question. What is a faster way of getting sticks in a bamboo forest? Is it to mine out the jungle wood or is it just to absolutely destroy all of the bamboo with a sword? Each one of these logs gives me eight sticks, but then each one of the swings of a sword with bamboo gives you like tons of bamboo. Okay, here we go. Sticks and more sticks and then item frame. Cool. And that is everything restocked for the time being. Hermits, I don't know why I have to keep reminding you. Please stop shopping in my shops. So now let's take a look at the iron shop situation. I started digging a hole because it was raining. Now look, I know I have referred to this thing as a permanent iron pile and I know the cover's actually honored this and has not referred to it as a pop-up shop. But come on now, come on now, this can't actually be my iron shop. I mean, this thing over here is being referred to as a pop-up shop. It's got, it's got a glass gradient. That's completely bananas. Now, technically, my iron and gold permit is one permit, so I could say that this iron pile is part of the gold shop, which obviously isn't a pop-up shop. This took me, this took me a very long time, but that isn't the current setup. And while I did think about having another minecart inside the mine, and then when you stand on a pressure plate, the minecart comes out and then gets redirected and goes off to somewhere like here. In the spirit of removing pop-up shops from the shopping district so that it cleans things up a little bit, I think it's about time that we actually build a proper iron shop. And I kind of have a fun idea. It's going to be sticking with the mining theme, but I like the idea that it's underground. So I actually want to create almost like a little iron mine. So you go down in like a rickety elevator, lanterns are going past, it's all clunky and crunchy, and then you get down to the bottom and it's 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 gonna be a little little iron mine. Might even put a little canary in it. Who knows? So the first thing that I'm going to build is the elevator. I have a bit of an audience, but I'm trying my best to ignore them. <laughs> so the bottom section of our elevator is going to be going uh, around about this level, and then this elevator is going to be quite unique because I want it to be like a proper mine elevator. So it's going to have trap doors for walls, and then we're going to have another flying machine up at the top that's going to do the roof. So we're going to have two flying machines flying at the same speed two blocks apart from one another that is going to be pushing our little carriage down into the mine. Ah, oh, except I've just realized that that will be too many blocks to push unless we had 
a slime block and a honey block one next to one another. I'm just gonna quickly mock this up just so I can see to make sure that all of the push limits and things are okay. Because the only thing that I'm slightly worried about is what if the top and bottom flying machines are flying slightly out of sync with one another and then one of the machines thinks it's pushing the entirety of the above flying machine, if that makes any sense. It probably didn't. Oh, I apologize for that. Right, I've got my machine set up. Um, let's just hit the button and see what happens. Ba bad things. Oh, I'm so stupid. And I think what I thought might happen happened. I think this flying machine up at the top here thought it had to push everything. And we'll see because if I hit the button again, yeah, it flies. So, okay, they have to be slightly out of sync with one another. This, this needs to go one tick behind the one down beneath. Oh, no, I'm even more silly. Yeah, because obvious, yeah, obviously they wouldn't work because this, this immediately tries to push downwards, whereas the one down at the bottom has to push this bottom section downwards and then pull the top section down. So it probably needs to be like two or three ticks. Very happy I tried this in a testing world. Okay, I think I've got enough information. Now it's time to build it on the Hermitcraft server. Okay, the bottom flying machines are now in place and they're locked in by droppers. So hopefully, even if I'm a complete moron, I shouldn't be able to activate these things and break it. Then this is where our top layer goes. And and oh, I'm all out of honey. And this is our second flying machine. So this is going to be the roof. Okay, I think we've got our carriage all sorted. Sorted. So, sorted. Sorted. It's a word. Now, my plan of action is to have this be a ridiculously shallow mine because the thing is, people want to buy things quickly. They don't want to be riding an elevator forever. So, this is literally going to move like three or four blocks. It's basically going to be just under the surface here. The shallow mine iron store. Shallow mine iron. Shalom, 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 it's hard to say quickly, goodness gracious. Shalom and iron. <laughs> I've played a lot of Minecraft today. As far as I can tell, I think all of the redstone should be in place and should be ready to go. So this activates first, that travels down, four ticks later, this one travels up. And then on the way back up, this one activates first, then four ticks later, the one at the bottom travels Oh, I think that mumbly analysis was good enough for me. I think it's time for a test. So here goes. <laughs> oh, I put the observer's facing the wrong way. I don't think I've ever done that. The good thing is if I press the button again, it should just pull them back up and then I can just replace the observers. That is a ridiculous error though. As I said, I've played a lot of Minecraft today. Okay, let's try this again. So hit the button. That is all absolutely perfect. Okay, so our, our elevator has traveled down to the ground level. This is all in line. It looks like we could be onto a winner. Yes, there we go. Nice. So our solid block of cobblestone is now going to become an elevator. Carriage? An, ele an elevator carriage? Uh, cube? What's it, what are they called? I am so happy that Mojang made it so that copper trapdoors could be manually clicked. It would be so upsetting if they had to be powered. Okay, so we've got ourselves a carriage. It is working well. It looks fantastic. So this is going to be us dropping down into the mine and then this is going to be us popping out. Just have to add another input down at the bottom, but I'll work that out in a bit. For the time being, I want to get to work on designing everything that is happening beneath the ground. Goodness gracious me, this thing feels rickety, which is exactly how I want it to feel. So let's start things off nice and easy with the area around the actual carriage itself. Uh, I think I think it would be smart to have some iron ore in the walls. Oh, do I? Oh, I kind of want to have it be deep slate. I mean, I want this to be like quite a dark area. I definitely want it to feel really moody down here. I'm going to try and have as few lights as possible. This is coming together pretty nicely. If I cover all of this up, yeah, I think we are now all fully enclosed. And I would say we're in a good spot. I think the only thing that I want to do is cover up all of this slime block stuff. Now look, I'm like 90% certain that I haven't placed any blocks within the slime zone. But I'm so scared to activate it just in case I have, because then everything will break. I think I've been quite wary. Let's just, just, let's just do it. Yes. It is moving. Okay, so this is going to be the experience of dropping down into the mine. 
<laughs> anyway, I've now just done some wiring for this button here and hopefully it all works. Except I guess they went past the button and the button powered the trapdoor. Hmm. Why on earth did that just happen? Of course, it's because when the observer moves down, it redirects this redstone which causes an update in the observer faster on that side than it does on that side. And it only became an issue when I added this redstone line. It's funny, I only seem to make these sorts of mistakes in survival mode. It's really weird. Now the redstone's broken in a totally new way. But I think I finally fixed it. Everything should now be working. I've covered up the top. So there's no visible redstone. And now we can finally actually start work on the stuff down at the bottom here. This is really satisfying though, isn't it? So first thing that I've got to do is dig out a little bit of a hole. And I think what I like the idea of is say our chest, our little barrel for iron goes here. I'm going to continue this on a little bit further and then I'm going to use the, the glass trick and just fade off the mine shaft off into the distance. So it gives the impression that this is actually like an almost endless like mining area. And I'm also going to have it get progressively smaller. Will that play with perspective? I don't know. I feel like it kind of does. By the way, I'm currently connected from Australia because the authentication servers have gone down at Mojang. Check out how good my ping is. Oh, that's lovely. So yeah, I do reserve the right to end this episode abruptly if I can no longer connect to the Hermitcraft server. Oh, I'm sure this is going to go well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's gone that's gone about as well as one would expect. So I have the base of this thing all sorted. I've switched out all of the blocks for stone so that we can start with almost a blank canvas. Now it's time to start adding a little bit more shape to the build. So I guess adding in slabs as much as possible. And then I kind of want to transition from the stone into things like deep slate and tough as we go along. So I wonder if we we do a bit of this and then gradually make our way across and eventually work our way into deep slate back here. I mean, does that work? I mean, I definitely think I definitely think it's doing something. It looks kind of interesting. I'm adding some iron bars and things because I'm imagining because it's an iron mine that they'd use iron in the process of constructing it. Now, I'm hoping with the slightly moodier lighting this back area here and this front area should, yeah, start to feel a bit better. Now let's really drive the point home that this place back here is incredibly dark. And I would say with a little bit of deep slate down there and up at the top, that has actually sort of done the trick. It's very much doing the trick. Look at that. That looks great. These little signs look cool. I think we just need a little bit of dead coral action and some other dangly bits and bobs. And then this place will be all completed. And now it is all completed. So let's get the full experience. I guess it's worth mentioning right now, as I'm standing in front of this monstrosity, I'm going to be working on the design of the top section in the next Hermitcraft episode. I just really want it to look fancy and I've been looking up all sorts of iron mines and the structures that go above them. Should end up looking really cool, but for the time being, we're going to be focusing on what's happening underneath. So, as per, we stand inside our little cart, hit the button, and check out how cool that is. A, that is the perfect length of elevator. It's, it's long enough to be fun, but also short enough that it's not annoying, and then it reveals this really cool looking space. It is crazy how much the dripstone and the corals and things add. It just makes it look so much more eerie and so much more realistic. Now staying in tune with the mining theme, I've got myself a minecart and I have no stock. The shop purge is starting in two days time. I've got a lot of work to do until then. If I don't manage to stock this place before then, not only do I lose this, this whole shop will be gone, I will have lost all this work, but also the gold shop is tied into the same permit. I'll lose that as well. So I've got some serious, serious farming and gathering to do. I hope you enjoyed this Hammercraft episode. It's been a lot of fun and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.